What's up you guys and welcome to another episode of The Road to VLS and once again I decided to do it with a subscribers and we started off with somebody forgetting to turn on loot chair and they managed to get a corrupt dragon medium helmet and I was like damn it I wanted to see that on video and then these uh, these people tried to PK us so I was like you know what let's red bar you and then make you telly and then we'll get this guy and he'll probably telly too which he did wait no no actually spoiler I killed this guy I think this is the only good loot I got this whole trip, and man, we, clans were just out in force tonight. Uh, there were so many, and we were just destroying them. It was pretty funny. I mean, there was a few times where we died, but for rev rag PKers, we absolutely destroyed some clans. It, it was it was embarrassing. Like I I can't imagine being a clan and getting destroyed by us. How bad you must feel. But also, we did manage to get drops too, because that's what we're here for. But the drops, I mean, we killed a lot of revs, but the drops just weren't coming this episode. Uh, the, um, last episode, it was the opposite. We didn't kill as many people, but we got a ton of drops. This episode, we killed a ton of people, didn't get that many drops. Some of my, uh, th this one guy there, I think his name was 7EV, 7, no, 7ZE or something. Yeah, well, he knows who he is, but, um, he got, like, three good PKs with, he, I think he made, like, five mil total from the PKs alone. And the drops, you know, I don't think we got a drop over 100k. I think our biggest drop was that, um that corrupt dragon spear or the zamorak medallion but i'm um, here once again a clan tries to kill us and we uh we destroy them and we make them all telly i like i i even had a few clips that i didn't record because i was like all right there's way too many of me killing people this guy oh my god if my second spec didn't fail look at that that would have been a good nice kill him and his friend were here and i recognize his friend's name i don't know from who but his name is espada owns i recognize his name and but he was when uh he was in pernix with um a rapier but he wasn't sculling obviously but um yeah here he is right there spot owns i recognize his name i don't know why someone tell me if he's if if you know who he is and why you know who he is but so yeah we uh we almost killed him we got a zamorak medallion all these troll drops as usual but and then once again another clan comes and we just we <laughs> we embarrass them i just i don't understand how bad cl how these clans like they're rev PKing clients, yet they can't kill a group of rev PKers. It's, I mean, a, a group of rev killers. Look here. Here's what um the guy who gets all the loot gets. Also in that loot pile, he got Gano legs or er, Ganodermic legs. Obviously, he couldn't show them. Then this clan comes, and um that guy tellies. I was like, oh, I'm so close to KOing him. Um, it's just <laughs> they're getting so lucky that they're living, but they're still getting embarrassed. Look at them running. You know, usually it's the other way around. You know. We're the ones running away from them, but this time they were running from us. So it was, you know, it was nice. Little role reversal going on that had me pretty excited. And then you could see someone there karasiing. Why would you bring karasi to revs? Tisk tisk tisk. Honestly, we could have got a lot more kills, but um, people weren't reading the callouts. People kept on telling me since you know it's my event to lead them and call the callouts for the people to kill. So I'd call a callout, and everyone wouldn't go on that guy. Look at us drop that one. There's another kill. Jeez, we are just destroying them. I mean, we did, we still did really good. But we could have got a lot more kills if we were more organized. I mean, obviously, I don't expect, you know, everyone there to, to, to know how to PK and everything. And, you know, I mean, this is barely PKing. But they didn't they didn't know how to read the callouts and stuff. I was calling people out. Everyone was just, like, kind of disorganized, free-frawling the other people. But we still managed to get kills. So it was, it was worth it. It was a lot of fun. Um, definitely going to title this episode Killing Clans. <laughs> Last episode was a ton of rev lootage. This this episode is a ton of clan lootage. And um it's not even that I wanted the loot from the people, it's just it's so fun to embarrass them. I mean I'm, I can go on and on about how bad they are. And then uh coming up is once again seven Z L. I c I can't really see the thing in Sony Vegas, but he gets another kill. I think he got like two whips. I think in total we got like four or five whips this uh this um this episode of just killing people. And there we go, I red bar that guy, and he tallies. I just see, I kept red barring people. I only got, like, one kill that was my loot. It, it's so terrible, you know? I just kept red barring these guys. And it's, you know, I could have did a lot better. And this part, you know, I should have cut this clip. Watching this now, I didn't recognize this one was so long. But whatever, you guys get to see me trying to tell people to to listen. <laughs> because, you know, we, we, uh, we could have got that guy. That guy at Red Bard, if, you know, more people were on him, we could have got him. But, um, we got a lot of polypores, too. People get, kept getting polypores and full mystic kills, and I don't think I got... Not everyone showed me their loot, but we, we sure did get a lot of stuff. 
And then here, me and Harim for the win, I think his name was. It was just me and him. Like, once again, people weren't listening and to follow us, but we managed to drop that guy through Prey Melee, just two of us. And he got, oh, look at that, another whip. And then here's another person who got uh, uh, Dragon Shimmy, and he got a Polypore, too. And then this clan, oh my god, this clan was giant. These are the ones that finally cleared us out. But look at me, I'm like, okay, you know what, there's like 18 of them attacking only me. What's that? Pro tank time. Pro tank. Pro tank. Let me just bank my stuff. Just, you know, let me pro tank. Oh, only two sharks left? Man, clans always choose the best time to attack me when I'm low on food. And I still look at this. I'm like, doo -doo -doo, what should I bank? Oh, I'll bank, you know, my claws, my whip, my boots, my glory. I don't want to lose the glory. I don't want to lose my, my helm of neat. Whatever it is, how you pronounce it. I don't want to lose that, so I banked it all. And I think the item I protected was my black beehive body. That means that <laughs> I'm just professional banker. But anyway, guys, this episode is uh, is coming to an end. Sorry if the um the audio is a little bit slower than the clips are a little bit faster. But once again, we get we get giant clan clearing us out. And I think it was the same one. And look, I think they red barred me and they ju they just couldn't finish me up. And I managed to tell you. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. And um, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.